my taco videos, what I did was I just took the taco and I put the water in, like I said, the seasonings, and then I'm done. I am going to add some sea sauces here in a second. And you cook it for as long as you think you need to, just to get the ingredients you need in there. So I'm going to put you right here and go get the sauces. So bear with me on the key, just regular. I'm dumping a little bit of that in there. There's taco sauce. And put that in there as well. Just so when I make the burrito, I don't have to put it in later. I think that's all I'm going to do for this batch. And then I'm just going to stir it all in, mix it in, and then be done. The sore line in this pan. I'm going to use this pan. And even though it's supposed to be nonstick, I still would put some oil in it. I use this kind because it's less fatting. And I just sprinkle a whole bunch. So we're gonna eat this is the pan we're gonna use to make the burritos and the tacos stay together and then yeah. So I just do like this. And then I will take my sirloin. Sirloin. And if I, if I need to do another one, I will. And yes, my nephew is messing with Legos while I'm doing this because I'm watching him today. What I like to put in rice every time I make it is Dorothy Lynch tortilla, uh, Dorothy Lynch salad dressing, duck sauce, and teriyaki. In my rice, before I use the rice for other things, I am going to make another rice that is just for the tacos and the chicken when I get those made. So, I'm just going to show you how I do it once. So, here we go. Where can I set you? Maybe I can set you right there so you can see what the hell is going on. Hopefully you can see what the hell is going on. New angle of my kitchen. But yeah. Okay. Put the duck sauce on first. I either sprinkle it on like this. Or I take a spoon. And scoop it in. But you scoop in as much as you want. Duck sauce is so good. If you never have it. Had it. Usually when you get Chinese food, it comes with your Chinese food. So you can get it with your Chinese food and try it for free. And then, if you're not the only one eating it, don't lick the spoon. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to put teriyaki in it. Now teriyaki, I just sprinkle in as much as I think I'll need. Drizzle it. And I do the same thing with the Dorothy Lynch. Now you're probably thinking, ew, that's gross. Well, how do you know until you try it? <coughs> it's getting hot in here. I'm going to have to turn the fan on. The ceiling fan. The only one I have in the house is in the kitchen. And then I take it from the bowl. And I stir it to make sure every inch of the rice gets the ingredients. It's okay if you put too much. You can only color balance it with other stuff. Sometimes I put Mrs. Dash in here, but today I'm just not going to. Mmm. So good. So, I need to check on my store line. That's how you do that. This is almost ready for the seasoning and the teriyaki and the other ingredients. There's that food. So I got tacos, that. Now it's time for the chicken. You don't know how I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this, but I put some in there and I tried some of it. It's kind of spicy, so I don't want to use too much. But I'm going to take some of this once it cools off, put it in there. Maybe I can use a spoon. Just a little bit, but not too much. 
could have if I wanted to put meatballs in there. But nah. We good. Okay. And then I'll stir that up and then I'm ready to make that. And I'm just going to come up with something and then I'll let you know how I did it. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I made this. This is kind of spicy sauce. So what I did to cool off the spice is put some uh, barbecue sauce on there to um, spice it down so it's not so spicy. And then I made a couple of, two of these to see how I kind of wanted to do it. What I did was... I put taco, this mix with the swine, and the chicken in those two things with a couple of pepperonis and a little thing of cheese and then rolled it up. So that's what I did. So I am going to show you how I make get with just a few of the ingredients. You just, just for fun. Okay, we're going to put some, I want to put some rice in this one. This one's going to be the taco. And what you want to do when you get the small tortilla shell, you fold it, make a crease. <laughs> that way it's ready. And then in the middle, you're going to put all the ingredients. And then when you go to fold it, it'll go on one side. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Put some rice down. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry, I don't have my tripod and stuff because yeah I explained all that and then we'll put some chicken this stuff's a little cooled off now so I can use my fingers because they're just for me but they were for other people I would use a spoon or a fork and you don't want that much ingredients in there because it's a small taco I'm gonna put some more rice on top with a spoon sprinkle of cheese and maybe take a, pep a turkey pepperoni and spread it I'm gonna split it in half like this because mm, it's pretty big and then I just take it Roll it up like that, and then it's ready to go on the pan. Let's cook it. Now I have to reheat the pan because I'm making, because I didn't want to keep the pan on while I'm doing this. And pat it down too, so you know it stays together. Now I'm going to get the big. Give me one second. I'm almost done with this one burrito. Okay, I'm going to take this burrito and I'm going to make a chicken burrito where I'm going to put the same ingredients that I did for the taco. What'd you grab? What? What'd you grab? What is this? What is this piece of crackers? Okay, that's fine. And I'll be in there in a minute for your movie. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to cook and watch my nephew at the same time. Put my chicken. And I'm going to do the same thing with my tacos and my sirloin. And I might mix it up and put some taco in with the sirloin or taco in with the chicken. You know, I haven't decided. And I might put some pepperonis in there. I might not. It's totally up to you how you want to do this. You can put lettuce, tomatoes whatever you want and then I will show you the finished project when I get all these done and show you how I'm going to cook it onto the pan now you can do it in the pan or you can do it in the microwave and then they're ready to go or you can just leave it like this and do it when you warm them up it's totally up to you but I really want them crispy when I warm them up so I'm going to do it on the pan so when I get done we'll be back I gotta go help my nephew. So as you can see, I made a, like maybe 13, 14, I lost count. And I still have this left, this left, and this left. And I'm still making them with all this stuff. So, ah, let's go 
don't deck me all night. <laughs> Good. I got this plate so full that I had to do it like this. Now I'm cooking them so they can come crispy. I like cooking them until they're, they look like this and they're golden brown on both sides. And then, that's how I like to eat them. So, some of them, they're all different. Every single one of these are different. Ooh, that one bubbled up. <laughs> now I'm doing the burritos the same way. Until they're crispy on the bottom. And they stay closed in. So I will say that burritos are easier to get crispy than the tacos. But yeah, that's the first batch. And I'm going to keep going until I'm done. And this regular plastic wrap, you don't want the wrap that, you know, sticks together. Because it's hard to get apart. Fit in this bag. I'm going to do tacos and burritos in separate bags. But yeah. So I got that ready. I counted 26 tacos and burritos mixed together. Wow, that's a lot of burritos. Alrighty, time to get them cooled off and wrapped up and sh shipped in the freezer. Woo woo! Okay, hopefully you can see this. I'm going to wrap it like they do the Subway sandwiches. So let's take a burrito because these are pretty cooled off by now. The first batch I did. And just hopefully I get them wrapped correctly and you can see it. I don't know if you saw that, but yeah, it's wrapped. And then I'm going to put them to the side, and then I'll put them in the baggie after. So here's my wrap. The thing is, it doesn't have the little... It's hard to rip it off the thing. But, yeah. but it's easy to use once you do. And the tacos will do the same, the soft tacos will do the same thing. We'll put it like this, wrap it, fold, and it failed. You live and you learn. When something fails, you try, try again. And if you worked with wrap before, plastic wrap, you know what a bitch they are to work with. They are no brain, no blam, no, no fun, no good. So that is how the burrito is done. And I'm going to do the rest of these and show you when they're done. Okay, I got them all bagged up, well, wrapped up. If you can see that. And now it's time to bag them in here. And then put them in the freezer. And then I'm almost done. Oh, already. I got them bagged up. Not all of the burritos could fit in here. Because apparently I have more burritos. Or they're bigger than the ta soft tacos. So yeah. And then I'm not going to have these every day. I'm just going to, want you know, once in a while. going to eat you know, eat one at a time, and because I got other foods too for that I could just pop in the microwave, cook it real quick, and then eat it. So yeah. So let's go put them in the freezer and in the video. Alrighty, I put them right there. That's where they're gonna fit, and till I start eating on them and stuff. That's it for the video. So make sure you. Put on a mask, save a life, don't have big group gatherings without wearing a mask, and stay safe, and I'll talk to y'all later. Later, haters!